doing today, Vinny? Good, bro. Good. Good to, good to see you. I mean, are you, you're enjoying the action. What did you think about Jason's performance? We just saw him uh, uh, get the fight stopped right now. I like Jason. You know, good kid, good fighter, great amateur. And now he's trying to, trying to turn into a great pro. I'd like to see him do something big in the game because he's got all the ability. Um, he needs to step it up a little bit. He looked good. Tonight was a good win for him. And, uh, I, I just know he can... Some, some huge thing. I, I think very highly of Jason. Okay. I mean, we got a good crop of fighters coming out of Providence right now. Uh, me personally, I think that you had a, a, a big hand in doing that since when you were around, when you were doing it. You were the, really the only guy out of this area, so I, I see you as an inspiration for a lot of the guys. Who, Which one of these guys uh, uh, sticks out to you? Uh, Matt Godfrey, Manfredo, uh, Jason, we got a couple other guys. What do you they're think? All, they're all good guys, but the cream of the crop is Matt Godfrey now. He's doing a nice job. He's, he's converted over from his amateur top rank status to being a, a, a top rank professional. And I, I think we're going to see the, the next big thing out of him, Matt Godfrey. Okay. I mean, I want I want you to weigh in. I mean, being that you retired from the sport, I just want I, we just saw a fight last week on ESPN, uh, another fight uh, with. Uh, um, uh, where uh, uh, another guy that, that was a heavyweight champion came down, uh, Chris Bird got knocked out. Uh, wh wh what did you think about that fight when you were watching it? Well, I was glad because I don't like Chris Bird. He's the only guy who was kind of rude to me when I met him. So I was glad he got his ass knocked out. <laughs> so he's right. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be rude to the past man when I was trying to be nice to you. Got your ass knocked out because of that. That's why he got knocked out. <laughs> uh, but he no, I actually hate seeing guys get knocked out. As a game, and he lost too much weight. Yeah. I mean, but it's because he had no balls to stay at heavyweight. He wanted to come down to light heavyweight and think that you know he would grow, but he lose too much weight, which I feel very lucky and fortunate never to have been knocked out. You know, you lose a lot of the fluid around the brain, and you get knocked out because of that. It happened to Roberto Duran. Ladies and gentlemen, here was a sign. One time, because he went up to 240 pounds and he dropped down to 154. And he got knocked out against Tommy Hearns. In a combination of five being able to hit and move it. That's why Duran got knocked out. Look at Roy Jones. Roy Jones just won the heavyweight championship in the world at 205. Goes back down to 175. He didn't have that weight to lose. Fluid loses a lot of fluid around the brain, dehydration. He got knocked out twice. And that's why, you know, that's why Roy Jones is not the same after that happens. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, getting some inside info from Vinny Paz. Um, another question, being that you fought at welterweight, uh, one of the many divisions that you fought, that. We got a good fight coming up with Miguel Cotto and Antonio Margarito. What do you think is going to happen in that fight, Vinny? Cotto is a bad mofo. I like him. He, um, he can fight. I was just watching him at the, at the uh, Gomez fight. I was there. And yeah, he played with Gomez and just tore him apart. He literally played with him. And I don't think he wanted to hurt him. Um, but uh, that's a good fight. I look forward to seeing that. All right. uh, do you have uh, anything that, that you want to just tell the fans? Uh, people Pass.com. I got the coolest DVD in sports, period. It's only 28 minutes, headstrong DVD. It's very motivational, very inspiring, and it's a lot of fun to watch. It's real fast, it's cool. It's hot, it's clips, music, sound bites, knockouts, and then there's 10 minutes of bloopers after that. <laughs> that really. Okay, we appreciate your time, Vinny.